Good evening everyone, or good morning, depending where you are watching. Um, I feel like doing some uh, improvised weapon modelling. How is everyone this evening? Okay, so I remember from last time we were um, we we um, what did we do last time? We did some more on the sculpt for this, and we sculpted on this section here, and we were sort of trying to figure out the mechanism for this, right? Maybe, perhaps. Hey Teddy, how's it going? Good to see you dude. Legacy Russ, you are more than welcome here, dude. Uh, bonjour, Sue Mishka. Uh, maybe uh, from your lessons, I can understand how to read top for your own Russ models. Yeah, man. Well, uh, um, are you talking about the um, the tutorials that I've put up um, on YouTube, um, or just through the stream? Thank you so much for the follow as well, Legacy. You are definitely um, welcome here. Because um, I will be... Um, Pilgrim time! <laughs> hey, what's up, Sloan? I will be doing some breed topology very soon. Um, and if you look on the past streams as well, Legacy, um, you'll see me doing some breed topology for the submarine. Um, and so, like, um, if you can't, can't wait for me to get onto breed topology right now, feel free to uh, scrub through the submarine uh, videos because you'll find some stuff there for sure. Hello everyone, um, coming into the stream, you are more than welcome. Hey Dialab, how's it going? I just want to say I'm really sorry for last night, how it just sort of just failed um, the stream after like how many hours, like two, two hours something. 
Um, that was quite frustrating that you ate um, a giant lasagna and you ate too much. Nice. Um, watching this is like meditating. <laughs> well, I hope that's a good thing. I'm not just putting you in some zen-like state. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. Oh, that's strange. I think my emotes got rejected, maybe? They've just vanished. That's strange. Very bizarre. Oh man, I'm so happy about that dialab. Um I hate myself, I know very little English because of this. I cannot watch the lessons from your com compatriots. And the Russians don't know how to make skins for us. Oh mate, that's that's quite sad. Um Hmm. Well, maybe um do does um YouTube not do like um automatic uh, captions? Yeah, I just looked on the emotes, um, broke as, and they're not there at all. Completely gone. Does it a caption plugin add on? Not sure how Twitch add-ons work. Yeah, um, can't really say for sure. If you're just joining me, um, wherever you come from, you are more than welcome just to lurk and hang out and just chill and uh, watch some 3D. But I've seen a few streamers have it, not sure if it's 100% reliable. How would that work though? Would, would that be the viewer clicking that and it, um, or would that be like permanent for me so you would all see it? You think it's an overlay on stream, like subtitles, yeah. Oh, okay, people can choose to close it or not. That might be ideal, you know, because you know what I have noticed that is that I, I do have a lot of Russian like um, fans, if that's what you want to call it, uh, f followers. Like some of the first people to make um, like real world versions of my weapons were like. Russian people, Russian fans. Um, so it sucks that they can't having difficulty making skins. Sculpting in ZBrush, I am. I assume you mean, so that it would be smooth because I understand the words poorly. I can only perceive them visually, unfortunately. Okay. So with these guns, is this the process you take to make all the guns in Rust? Yeah, pretty much. Um, the only difference would be if I'm making something like um, the L96, for example, or the M39, which was solely um, subdivisional modeling. There was no real sculpting because it was quite um, a fresh model, a fresh asset. It wasn't like worn down and... Um, and stuff like that. So I didn't really need to take it into ZBrush. Um, I relied more on the texture uh, for that. Welcome, welcome everyone. Okay, I'll, I'll have to... Um, hey Blakey, how's it going? Uh, hey, bed rip. Early stream, yeah. Hoping to have a nice long one this evening. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Nighthawk. I think Nighthawk's the new boss as well now. Oh, you're a bad man. Thank you so much for subscribing. 
I really appreciate that. So, Face Punch is my first, like, video game studio. Uh, before Face Punch, um, I sort of helped out with a Kickstarter, but that didn't really, that doesn't really count, really. Um, I was a character artist on a Kickstarter called um, Kung Fu Superstar. Um, on this thing. I made one of the characters. Uh, I think it was on an oil rig. Let me skip round to it. It was so long ago though. Maybe it's not on this trailer. I don't think it is actually. It was on a different one. But yeah, I worked on this project here which never made it to fruition. Yeah, it was um, quite amazing to um, I feel very blessed and lucky to um, have started at Face Punch and to have been here for so long as well. So I had a thought about this last night and I want to change the, the trigger. I want to redo it. I'm not entirely happy. I feel like it's just out of, a little bit out of place, maybe, perhaps. I may keep it in there, but this is the point of this part of the process is, I mean, because we're going outside of concept, out of the reference, and we're just trying to see what works now. What what can we add to it that works? A knife trigger, that would be sick. Nail clipper, okay. Make the scissors into a bayonet. That's kind of a cool idea, actually. Oh, thank you so much for the... Oh, people have subscribed on... Uh, YouTube. <laughs> thank you so much, Bass Vlog, for subscribing, and Zaheen Adib. You're very much welcome. Are there any Russian authors in the chat? Buy skins. Oh, I've lost it now. So let's see this. Because that was actually kind of a cool idea, you know, as a bayonet. That was a really cool idea. But this is I'm gonna have to, I'll have to redo it a little bit. I guess you could like just sort of stick it on the side there. Maybe because like we've got a lot of detail on the left hand side. We don't want it be we don't want it to be too crazy and too overwhelming and then just have this side pretty bare, you know? Um so you could have it, because it's quite flat there as well, it would probably work a little bit better there. Like here. You know? And then we can just model the knife uh the the sharp part afterwards. Hey perks, how's it going? Dude, I'm really liking the look of those um, um, subscriber um, tiers. Hey, Cynical Greed. Thanks for the follow, uh, Dilwas Taken. You're very much welcome here. So I was kind of thinking a peg for the trigger. <laughs> Something like this, just like a either that or like an older peg. Maybe, I don't know. I kind of like the um, maybe get like an elastic band in there or somewhere like that. Get running through, or some like Swiss Army knife. Uh, yeah, I do play wrist. Um, maybe I, I kind of want to play a little bit more of it. I haven't played it in a while, uh, namely because just you know, having a family and having a one-year-old is kind of time-consuming, you know. Uh, plastic peg, okay. Yeah, that would be a sick idea actually, because we don't want to have too much wood, right? And then if we introduce a little bit of plastic outside of the like the tape. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dilwas Taken, for this, uh, the sub. Um, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Hey Nino. You're not late, honestly. Um, don't worry about it. Um, old plastic peg because I, I really like making plastic in substance 
I think it's really, really kind of cool actually. Or maybe like a little, a pink one, just to offset the colour a little bit. And to introduce some sort of like, a little bit of colour and like fruitiness. Thank you for the follow, Losserk. Uh, yeah, fits the rest of for sure. Digipaw, uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, just want to say I've loved seeing your work throughout my years in Rust and such the charm and creative you've put into the items partly got me into learning 3D. That is so cool. That's probably made my day that has. And after many months of learning, I got my first game dev gig as a 3D artist in my spare time for a mod which attempts to bring in legacy Rust survival systems to the Millicent Game Squad. Thanks for streaming your workflow, etc. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Good job. Good job. Um, yeah, yeah, I think a plastic peg would be awesome, like the classic green yellow ones. Oh, yeah, like this one here. It'll probably have to be a little bit faded as well. Oh, Dialab, thank you so much for. Um, um, oh, do us taken, gifted. What a generous guy or girl, don't know. <laughs> thank you for all the followers. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, if the if we're gonna do a plastic peg. It'll have to be a little bit faded because the color in plastic fades over time. Um, oh, this is good reference actually. Let's blow this up. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm liking the idea of this. And this is good, like box cutter work. If you if you guys want to see that. Yeah, me too. I, I'm, I'm hoping to get some sort of substance in here. Um, thank you for the follow, flip out, and Rattar and Campy. Uh, you all more than welcome. More than, oh, Camp, yeah, Campy. Yeah, fadish white tone. Flip man, what's going on here? What's with all the, the. the the favorite, uh, the follows. Oh, did he? <laughs> Bad man. Uh, well, you're all welcome anyway. It's so good to have you all here. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, this is kind of a, um, low res reference image but what we could do we could just get because the the shape of it hasn't really changed right even though they're like the old and faded it's just the material so we could use that for um material reference alistair you bad man <laughs> So I'm just saving this in my reference board. You'll notice that, I mean, in the YouTube videos that I've done, I noted how important the references are. Thank you so much for the follow, BG Rift and Prince Legendary, Frog Coochie. <laughs> uh, all of you are welcome here. Yep, he is. I can see him. Um, SSS will be barely noticeable, probably. Yeah, typically with this sort of stuff, what I do in Rust is I um, will have an edge highlight with a sort of similar colour um, to the base colour and just have it very light so it gives that sort of um, that sort of really plasticky feel, like worn out feel. It's, it seems to work quite nicely. Hey Ian, how's it going? <laughs> My job is to spit out an array of dad jokes, which everyone here has heard a few times already. So yeah, the material is pretty much um, the only thing that really has changed because plastic doesn't really degrade that much apart from the color and you know the state that it's in, but 
structurally, it's um, I mean that's pretty good. Actually, we could do maybe something snapped off. That's kind of cool. So you can see the uh, the spring inside. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, the sub um, the sub killer G. Some dirt would be good, for, yeah, for sure. Because can you see it here? Like, it gets a little bit lighter on the edge here. That's what we'll probably do. And there's some like sort of rust, um, like sort of spilling over onto it. You can see it from where maybe rain has sort of come down on it. So there's a really good way of doing this in Substance Painter, where you you could get some like basically some orange here, and then you have the um the smudge tool in in substance you can just smudge it down and it just sort of fades down like it's the drip um, do I have any plans for channel points um I don't really know I don't know what to do with them really honestly it's kind of new to me uh hey 3d ant how's it going um Uh, Twitch is like a wrist server, you just call out and pop and it drops. <laughs> Do push ups. <laughs> yeah, for 10k points. Um, I'm not too sure. I'll have to discuss that. Um, oh, sorry. I, I'm missing stuff. Do push up for 10k points. <laughs> You don't want to see me do push-ups. I'll embarrass you. <laughs> I've been summoned by Mr. Badrip. Hi there. Hey, Morpheus. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm just going to get sort of like a model reference here. I kind of like the classic look. Yeah, let's go for this. Which is pretty much there. Those don't like skinnable hazies. <laughs> well, I mean, Alistair's here in the chat, so you'll have to um, convince him. What have I made that's in Rust? Um, you're very much welcome here, Meanbog. Uh, as are you, uh, Oh, he's, he's done it, you know. Yeah. Uh, a few things in Rust. It sort of piles up over nearly eight years, I guess. Yeah, that, that was a, uh, <laughs> a recent thing, Chip. Uh, we're just sort of trying to figure out, because I don't really like it as the trigger. So we're going to do a peg instead. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for so long, Meme, honestly. It's like, there's a bunch of old art, you know, because Rust is, I guess, kind of an old game now, right? So, like, the artwork date it gets a little bit dated over time. Um, and so yeah, the art, I mean, the, the supply job was in desperate need of a makeover and it wasn't anything skinnable, so it was really easy to change because it was just, you know, um, um, that was, um, I knew straight away that I wanted plastic, like a plastic wrap around it. Um, And I, well, I want the sort of the same feel to the old one with the green and the supplies there, but I want it a little bit more detailed. And thanks, Chrissy, I, I appreciate that. DLR and very uh, Nemesis, you are very much welcome here, and thank you for the kind words. Staff again. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, yeah. Thank you so much for the uh, the follows and the subs. Honestly, it's pretty crazy. Um, definitely gonna have to give Alistair a thank you. Um, he, he has watched Shrek twice. <laughs> Alistair, you, you're a kind, kind guy. Cloth made on Marvelous, yeah, so I was trying to do it in um, Blender at first, but I was occurring a, little, uh, a couple of issues with that, so um, I decided to do it in Marvelous, which is just like, just a beast, it, it really works very nicely, and so like, um, I started using Marvelous as well for the tape, and it just does such a great job. Chrissy, you know, when I started doing this uh, stream and stuff, the first week after, um, like, a full day of doing it, my voice was starting to become really, my, my throat starts to become really sore and painful, because um, I've never spoken so much throughout the day. Yeah, I posted on um, um, on ArtStation like a big thank you to everyone who's followed me on um, ArtStation over the years and giving me like real good encouragements. I don't think I've had any really any bad feedback. Um, I like reaching five k on ArtStation was like mind blowing, and and you guys as well. Like, I just had to say thank you. I really appreciate everything. So like I'm kind of thinking how do we do this? How do we attach this to um this isn't an upgrade to the Eoka. This is just some personal work. Um Oh, thanks meme. Um What am, what am I working on, Nemesis? Um well, as like the past um, streams, the early streams um, suggest, I was I was working on like a submarine. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting that completed. So like we've already got the elastic bands here. So what we could probably do is redo this real quick, and sh I could show you the process that I do that. What the heck, man? Killer G4, you bad man. <laughs> um, you're crazy, dude. What is happening right now? <laughs> That's going to be going for a while, that. <laughs> you know what, this rate, I think I'm going to get that um, squad goal. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this over because I kind of like that it's separate from this a little bit, you know? I think it'll be a really nice detail, so... Um, Chrissy, um, the, I think they, they got deleted. They're not there anymore. Um, <laughs> See you, Lovo. Thanks for stopping by.
Man, Killer G, sending out 20 subs, man. What a beast. Thank you so much for your kindness. Um, right, let me um, just go to the emotes to see if... Oh no, they're there, actually. They're there, they're back. So the, the emotes are still on their way. I mean, there were just some random ones that I just decided to do. Um, so I think I can change them at a later date, maybe. Cracks, by the way. You're yeah, very much welcome here. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Honestly, it's crazy. You didn't have to do that. Um, is it hard starting making models? It can be. There are times where I'm like, where do I even begin with this? Like, um, I like. Let me try and find an example where I sort of had creative block. Um, because some models are so sort of kind of intricate and detailed it's kind of like oh man how do i even begin where do i even begin with this model i think the one that i can remember mostly is probably at the m39 because i didn't really know where to start with it because it's quite it's kind of detailed right i think i started with the the body first maybe the grip i can't remember exactly um Hey, triple zero, how's it going? <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, it's one UV. I mean, like the AK-47, the original AK-47 was like, was it three or four? So yeah, what we're going to do now, we're going to just sort of maybe expand this over or maybe we could create another one i don't know yeah it, yeah to beginners um good question um hmm let me have a think and i'll get back to you mr beat okay pretty much <laughs> So yeah, um, so I'm just going to add a rectangle and I'm just going to scale it down just so I don't have to do much scaling later. And then I'm going to add a, a circle. No, I'm not. I'm going to add a, yeah, yeah, I'm going to add a circle. Just gonna rotate that. I kinda like this. You didn't even do the donut tutorial, neither did I. I mean what put me off about that was that because everyone did it and everyone um like <laughs> like puts the donut on um Art station. <laughs> when you skin the textures, how do you make them transparent? Like, for example, the handles on the large box on the side, because you can make them invisible in Rust. You just use an alpha map on that particular. Um, it's just a black and white image. Black meaning what isn't visible, and white what is visible. And uh, so, if you were just to make that uh, black and apply it in game then it would yeah it would just uh go invisible so 
I could just adjust the curve and then scroll all the way down. Let me go into um, wireframe and you see the box here and then select all the, the points and then adjust the tilt. But that doesn't leave me with much control because then I have to scale and that just sort of messes with the mesh scaling and it's just a bit it's a bit it's a bit odd really so I don't really want to do that so what I want to do is actually if I select this first then select the target curve and then go to curve bevel now the square is controlled by this which is a little bit strange at first I just want to sort of match the thickness of this here um, that's wrong. Yeah, it is a lifesaver, honestly. It's so good. And now, because of this, I can start messing with this curve and just have it placed around. My study might have to be changed up a little bit. We're thinking about trying to rearrange when the baby comes. And it's sort of like my wife wants it to be dependent on whether it's a boy or girl. Because I have a boy and a girl at the moment. So I might be downstairs in the dining room. Probably will be. So my background may look very, very different. I should just put like the Bahamas behind me or something. Just alpha me out Nvidia have, um, have this thing called bro Nvidia Broadcast where it uses AI to sort of uh, mask out the back background like which is amazing you know what Teddy that's actually a really good idea why don't I think of that Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just see this. I think I've got an okay-ish image of it. Add reverb to your mic and be immersive. <laughs> so. I'm going to give it like that for this stream. I like that. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Krabba <laughs> and Richie1193 and Jake Rich. Thank you so much. You are all very much welcome here. G man I'm still shocked you're 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 crazy dude crazy right <laughs> so I'm just gonna duplicate this as well and um 
kind of want it mm, to be to look a little bit more stable than it actually is because I mean I don't want it to like sort of look a bit dumb you know I feel like these things sort of matter so I'm just gonna subdivide it which gives me an extra I'm just gonna tighten it by scaling it in so it looks like it's sort of pressed against I'm just going to do a little bit more on that and then again here and then just move it out subdivide there just so I can get push that up a little bit hey Nino it was originally for the trigger but then I took it out and it's going to be like a bayonet almost so I'll um I'll extend that to be more like scissor like yeah I'm gonna use like a peg I'm gonna use a peg like this we decided ma'am if we do yeah we we honestly we do we, we all um, live and work in the Bahamas Alistair has just chosen to work um, in Yorkshire West Yorkshire or wherever it is, North Yorkshire, I don't know. Five heads, you're very much welcome here. Thank you for being here. Uh, so are you spoof Joe? Um, how did I set the curve scale with the pain? So when you, I, I use something called, um, I'm pretty sure you can do it natively, but I use hard ops. And when you when you you have to select the the square first, so you add a curve plane, wherever that is, curve rectangle, and you select that first, and then you select the target. Sorry, and then you um, hit curve uh, bevel, and it uses this object as a um, as a reference. So I just kind of want to, I don't want it completely straight, I want to move it over a little bit. Just to show some sort of like irregularity in it. Maybe something like that. Hey Rus Cleanse, how's it going? You're very much welcome here. What sort of weapon are you making? I'm just making an improvised weapon. Something like it was based on a real world item, which is this gun here, um, created by an IRA member. Whether it was actually used, I have no idea. Um, what are you using in general, specifically with with hard ups? Um, so I'm using like the bevel. Um, tools so like when I um and just like the the boolean option uh, operations and stuff like that and the all that sort of good stuff and this become a new gun for rust like some kind of SMG. Don't know man. No idea. It's just a personal piece at the moment, kinda like the AK forty seven that I did recently. So one of the benefits of this as well as subdividing is obviously when you subdivide you get more edges in the mesh um, which will be useful um, when it comes to baking out the high poly so I'm just kind of thinking because because we moved it over it's naturally got a bit more of a tilt to one side if you can see that so when um, what you have to do to sort of solve this is to use the tilt to move it back around again. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Abakio Blues. And hello, I'm Jonas Rupert, Youngzamd17, Zaxon, Thomas uh, Traurig, if I haven't said that already. You're all very much welcome here. I'm going to make it an aim that at least I'll attempt to say thank you to everyone who um follows because it's completely like 
uh, unexpected. I am so thankful. Scarol, uh, very much welcome here. Oh yeah, I think <laughs> I think yeah, I had to improvise a lot of guns because uh, guns are a little bit harder to come by here in uh, United Kingdom. So I'm just going to tilt this as well. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, thanks, Kanza D. DK. Man, Shadowfrax, what a legend, right? What a legend. I'm just going to add some more subdivisions here just so I can get a little bit better control of it. So I'm kind of happy with that. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually move it to the side a little bit just so it kind of looks like there's a little bit more tension. <laughs> definitely not a legend. I'm, I'm definitely real. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the compliments, dude. I really, really, really appreciate it. Just sort of blown away by the love everyone's sort of sh um, shown recently. I feel like it's been, it's I've needed it in some way, this social interaction. Um, am I allowed to sell skins in the Steam store? Uh, yeah, if they get accepted. Yes, Bill. How's it going? Bill Ford, programmer at rest. Um, I've got his name in a couple of assets. The goal is to try and find where, now that you know that. I'm not going to tell you where. Where's your badge, Bill? Have you subscribed? <laughs> Another legend indeed. Not happy with that tension there, it looks a bit floaty to me. Wait. Keemstar. <laughs> Man, what the heck? How's it going? You're very much welcome here, dude. As is everyone else. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't, Bill. That's fine. I don't need your sub. I got your friendship in real life. I do. <laughs> yes, Killergy. What a bad man. Heard you were making a Keemstar skin in Rust. Um, what would that look like? <laughs> a gnome, obviously. <laughs> Long overdue. Perhaps it is, dude. Gnome de deploy deployable, yeah. <laughs> hey, German guy. How's it going? I can make you a gnome furnace. Keemstar, what what sort of uh, skin? 
what item would you have it on? You know, I was, I was going to say it. I was going to say it. I was going to say the beard. I'll have to ask Matt, Matt if you could do that. A nice, thick beard. Serial Solo. Hi, why do you never reply in a personal message or in a comment on ArtStation? Do you ignore it on purpose? I try and apply, um, reply as much as I can. Personal message is a little bit different because um, I don't always see them straight away. Hey Tristan, you're very much welcome here, as is everyone else. Popcorn Bucket Helmet. That sounds pretty good. Did you message me, Sir Hi Solo? Hey Rico Johnson. So this is elastic band. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner actually because it looks a little bit different in comparison to the other ones. KFC bucket helmet. Hey Rex T. Keen Park champion hoodie and wrist will be so fire. My favorite streamer is back. Hey Adam. <laughs> I'm in the world of Rust at the moment as as well. Just that's where uh, that's where I'm living at the moment. Wales wasn't cutting it, so had to uh Yeah, I saw like um arcade fifteen. I really appreciate Alistair. Thank you so much for the follows. Um, you guys are insane. Might actually reach that thousand follower goal. Just a little bit sharp. But whether it will work or not, that's another thing altogether. So now I'm just going to join those together and... Um, convert into a mesh. Let me see. Have you? Uh, did you say um, you messaged me, um, Sir Hi Solo? Business ones that don't like respond to because I'm just not interested I mean I'm trying to go through a hey tank girl very much welcome here whoops Hey Duck, how's it going? I've not ignored you. I'll never ignore you. Oh, thank you so much for the, the sub tank girl. You guys have got me distracted again. Alistair's fault. Keemstar's fault. Everyone's fault. I'm catching you up, Keemstar. I've already got affiliate. You wrote to me a couple of times and I never answered. Can you send me please normal texture from wrist weapon? 
oh, it's just because, like, um, I'm not really responsible for that, really. And the way it came across, it kind of seemed, um, kind of strange because I didn't know who you were, what you're going to do with it. I'm not just going to send anyone textures and stuff. No offense. It just sounds really dodgy. I mean, that sort of stuff should go through like um, the proper channels, really. That stuff I don't really respond to. <laughs> I found some like real world reference of that dome, which is pretty cool. Do developers get annoyed with 3D artists ripping stuff from the game? Um, I don't know. Why is that you saying that you do that? Right, so I've got that in place there. I kind of need, need to make this a little bit longer. And then we could make this like really jagged sort of thing, like broken off. So it looks like it's going to be a bit devastating if you were to get hit with it. Yeah, bayonet scissors. I'll do it in ZBrush, I'll probably just like destroy it that way, it's quicker and easier. Now I know that a lot of you are new to the stream and I just appreciate you coming, even if you've just come from, you know, Alistair and all that, like you've not sort of found me through ArtStation or whatever, you are still very much welcome here. Free to chill and just hang out. I mean, there's one there really, but I like to have the um, the side there so I can see. No, I don't even have screencast keys on. There you go. You know what I'm going to do, in fact. Save that out. Peg. Nah, that's not going to work, is it? Actually, I might just have it in just for scale reference. Thank you so much for the recent follows. Um, you're very much welcome here. Like it could be like pinching something on the inside of the mechanism, right?
That'd be kind of cool. Be a bit of a weird trigger, but I kind of like it. Is there any really professional 3D Discord server besides Dynasty and Experience Points? Do I like turtles? Yes. Or maybe like that. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, I was thinking that because they've got a broken piece there. That might be a good idea. Alright, well, let's stop messing around and let's model this thing. Realize you won't be able to see that. Corrosion error. Welcome, welcome. Aitaki, you're very much welcome here as well. And Gian looks. Good, I, I hope you guys are chilled, man. I feel pretty chill. Even though I was like up at 20 to um, 7 this morning with my kid, I still feel pretty good. What amazingness am I making today? I am sort of continuing on with a tutorial that I made, uh, or was in the progress of making, and I decided as a thank you for all everyone's kindness to me that I would give it out for free. Um, so I'm just in the process of doing the rest of that. Um, yeah. I really appreciate the fellow Iteki, or Iteki, how you pronounce that. What kind of tutorial? This this tutorial here, what I'm making here. Um, let me try and find it for you. I should probably set up Nightbot to do this. There you go, that's the playlist for the um, the videos that I've uploaded. There's, I think there might be one or two more to upload. Squad goal is just the amount of followers, basically. You're all part of my squad, or I'm part of your squad, whatever. I just thought it might be nice just to have a little bit of a... Um, a goal to to try and achieve you know so I'm just going to use this as I'll probably use the bottom half as um, reference here You know, let's um, do it like this. I feel kind of under pressure now that there's quite a few many people here. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the um, the subscription uh, for the sub corrosion hour. Uh, you're awesome, dude. 
I really appreciate that. A subscription isn't needed, but I appreciate that. It's too late for you. <laughs> Do you, baby? <laughs> Nino's on it. Nino is on it. I'm gonna hide those. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Squish Face. I hope your face is alright. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Jake Rich. Whenever you look to the side, your nose disappears. I'm sorry about that. That's just the effect that the rust world around me has. Um, can't help that dude, I'm sorry. Tank Girl, I've only really started recently. Um, um, so it's kind of overwhelming. I, I've tried in the past. Um, however, I just felt like it wasn't really for me at the time. And then my Isaac Another artist that face punch sort of um, nudged me to do so. Um, so I did. And I've sort of um, loved it. I just like, it's just amazing. Really, really amazing. Like, what a great experience. I should have started streaming earlier. Debug mode. <laughs> yeah, man, I believe that cynical for sure. So all I'm doing now, I'm just sort of altering the the cutter mesh. So these meshes that I'm generating, they're sort of designed to um, cut into the mesh. And so like just, I'm just Im um, manipulating them just to get the general shape. Give it some time you'll start to relax more and more each time you stream yeah that's what i feel like that's sort of already happening kind of you know um and because like i said before i thought i was going to be sort of overwhelmed with like oh that wasn't supposed to happen with like unban requests console release legacy all that sort of stuff but i've not had any of that at all And console. Hey Mako, uh, you're very much welcome here. Um, yeah, I work on Rust mostly, well, solely. Uh, I used to work on Gary's mod back in the day. 
Um, that was pretty fun. And then I started working on Rust when it started like developing more. Well, I feel sick. That just made me feel strange. That did. Ugh. I actually feel a bit motion sickness now from changing that view. Alistair is crazy, man. He is crazy. <laughs> I don't think I'm a um, a master at this program. <laughs> um, but I appreciate the compliment. I am... Um, and you're very much welcome here, Tuba uh, Geek, any, uh, by the way. Um, so, I used to use 3ds Max for a long time. Um... That's all I've really sort of known. Um, and then I just last year decided to sort of try it when once like Blenders um, started to get like a lot of hype around it. Um, so yeah, about I've been using it about a year, I'd say. Yeah, I typically would use subdivision modeling, but um, I kind of wanted to show uh, box cutter a little bit. Just because it's so fun. I could still use um, subdivision modeling for sure. I can just use this as like a little base for it. I mean, just cutting shapes in like this, it is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It just feels so satisfying. I'm not too fussed to get this exact because, I mean, it's not exactly the best reference we have for it. Uh, Gumroad, maybe. Um, I'm sure there's another one that I know of. I can't remember the name of it, though, which is pretty famous for buying 3D models. Turbo Squid, that's it. What's my preferred method of getting the low poly, and do you always go to high to low? So, yeah, I don't, if it's something like pipes, I typically would just, like, unless it's, no, not even then. I, I use a different method for, like, pipes and wires for the low poly. Um, but um, typically how my workflow goes is that I'd go build a mesh up to, like, sort of like a base mesh, which would be ready for sculpting. Because um, a lot of Rust assets have a lot of wear and tear and to the object itself. So I need to use ZBrush a lot. Um, and thank you so much for the compliment, um, Penyon. You're very much welcome here, as is everyone else. Uh, to chat, to lurk, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah. Um, and then from that, I use a program called Topogun. To generate the um, the the low poly from, I should make a Discord server. I have had a few people say um, that I should make a Discord, but it just feels a bit weird. <laughs> I feel like I, I would need to have like thousands for a Discord or something.
What other items have you designed in Rust and what is your favourite thing you've designed? Um, let me just... Yeah, thanks, Jerry and Guy. Um, my favourite thing. I really like making the bags. Really like making the bags. I love making the, the tier one workbench. That was really nice. Uh, I love making this camera because the reference that I used was um, um, was actually the camera that my granddad gave me or gave my dad. My granddad was a photographer. And we found some f photos that he'd taken. He's like really, really nice photos. And um, and it sort of he passed it down to my dad, and then I got I got it. Um, can I find it here? Actually, maybe. Um, maybe it'd be on my camera stand. And I sort of got into photography. I love photography. That's sort of like a, what I do on the side. And um, this is sort of my like sort of homage to to my granddad. Um, I feel like without him, maybe I wouldn't have got into photography. Um, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Like, if I'm not satisfied with something, I would keep working on it. Um, for sure. Um, I don't... I think the only thing that I was quite unsatisfied with was the characters that I originally did for um, Rust, because originally I was the character artist, but I wasn't that great in comparison to Taylor. Um, so I felt quite unsatisfied with those. Um, with that that kind of artwork. Yeah, I did some work on Ruin. When it was about this was cool. I love doing this wooden sword. That was quite nice. <laughs> it's your fault, I'm a black woman. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Pop Gaming. Did you do any of those models make it into the game? Yeah, so the original. The original Newman um, was, yeah, was mine, and then I started doing the character variations, and then it just wasn't sort of up to scratch. I know, and I know that, and so I felt really relieved when they hired Taylor, um, and I got to do stuff like this that I, I love. Um, hey Giles, yeah, I do all the textures myself, all the materials. Um, the chainsaw was pretty cool doing the the offset texture for that that was kind of nice hey Scarlil how's it going you're very much welcome here and one pop gaming as well. Um, I, I'm not. I don't do really do world stuff, but I've done. Um, yeah, I don't really do environment like as in like landscapes or anything like that. That's more like Vince and Damien. Um, Jake, it depends. Like I have. I've made some like sort of smart materials for myself that can, you know, that I've sort of edited already existing materials because some of them are really good off off the bat. But so like for the AK, I should just have ArtStation open all the time, man, just on one tab. So for the new AK forty seven that I did, or the the revised version, um, the metal was done all from scratch. Um, just from like a base color.
yeah, so Meatball, this this gun that um, I'm doing now, thanks one pop. Um, this gun that I'm doing now, I'm going to do the full, um, the full thing from uh, low poly, high poly, uh, sculpting, um, retopology, you know, with the low poly, uh, unwrapping, and also the texturing. The wood material is really kind of driven through the cavity map, through the sculpt itself, because they use alphas in um, in ZBrush, um, and then I create um, ambient occlusion maps and cavity maps in Marmoset Toolbag 4, and that really drives the edge highlights and the, the dirt within the, the crevices. <laughs> hey Matt, how's it going? How do I make my screen 3D? Look at it. Look at it. Hey Matt, Matt, can you like, subscribe and share for me, please? <laughs> Spam like is that session. <laughs> Mama said has a 30 day trial, yeah. So this peg is way too wide. It's thick, thick peg. So I'm just gonna... So the thing with this is like, this workflow is that it's completely non-destructive, which is kind of helpful in some way, because I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to it being a box you know because it's still a, technically still technically a, a box um and all you're seeing there is the the booleans that i've made um and so um it's kind of a unique workflow that i'm not i wasn't used to until this but you can see the wireframe what it would look like and stuff like that it's quite nice um It is Alice's fault. Oh, I've got another open slot for um Oh flip 139. What is going on? <laughs> 145? Okay. Alright, what's going on? Thank you for the follow. So what I'm going to do now, because um, I kind of need to edit this a little bit, and I'm kind of happy with where it is at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to um, smart apply this, um, which just applies all the booleans all in one. Put it to your background. <laughs> Um, I don't really know how to do that through um Oh flip, what is going on then? <laughs> Thank you so much for the the sub one pop. Cody, you uh bad man. <laughs> I fell for it.
Okay, guys. Okay, guys. 160 now. This is crazy. Guys, you're insane. Insane. <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm trying to mute this. <laughs> I feel like you're unliking just to like it again. Thank you, Nino. I appreciate that. So I kind of want to um, sort of just bevel these edges here so they're nice and smooth. They are, but it's muted and it's going crazy, man. <laughs> <sighs> guys, guys. One tip as well is like when you when you use edge slide and you want to get rid of an edge, sometimes I'll just go, you know, like merge the verts up, which is okay. It can, it's, you know, it, it works. But if you turn on auto merge and just use edge slide, it's gone, just gone straight away, real fast. This guy is the next okay. <laughs> You're famous now. It's time for a disco. <laughs> I tell you what, if we get to a thousand followers, I'll set up a Discord, okay? I feel like that's kind of fair. Once I hit a thousand followers, I'll set up a Discord. <laughs> and I mean Alistair, I'm still not cool, so No way, me too. <laughs> Are you saying that I have breasts? Is that what you're saying? Hundred and eighty six flip. So with this, you might f at times find that it, it sort of spazzes out like this a little bit. It freaks out. So if you just sort of be careful and, and just sort of connect the verts together, at some points it sort of resolves those issues. See, I'm trying to be calm right now and not freak out. So I'm trying to distract my mind. And instead of doing the other half, I'm just going to mirror it over to the other side. Thank you so much for the follow, Orgic. And Gian Lux, Ricky Grieve, thank you so much for following. Yeah, I imagine it does. That's what I do on um, export as well for the bake, um, for meshes like this. I just kind of like fixing it before to over 200 men. What on earth? Are you see, you're not seeing 400. Alistair, I would. Like, I really would. I'm just so grateful. I'm so thankful. I wouldn't get anywhere, would I? <laughs> Can you imagine if I was someone like XQC? Or Keemstar. I was just sat there like going through the chat. Bye.
pineapple pizza. Story time with Tom. Let me see what you said works. Triangulate. See, that's that's the issue you get with it though. That's the only issue. And now it's frozen. You know what? I haven't saved it. I haven't saved any of this. Are you off uh, Cynical Greed? Oh, yeah, sorry. Cynical Greed, yeah. Yep, 400 eyes. Might be more than that, because I've got four eyes, and you never know how many glasses are on me. So I'm just going to apply that bevel, really. I'm just going to fix it straight up. Can't be bothered trying to weld all those edges together. Hey Vase, how's it going, dude? So now I'm just sort of looking like it's one of the issues with um, hard ups box cutter because you kind of have to do a lot of cleanup. Um, afterwards, if it doesn't go sh the way you want it to. But, I mean, I'd rather that than spend ages on a sub-D model. <laughs> Vase, you should go bed, man. By the way, I um, I actually love pineapple pizza. I think it's top tier. I'm just going to mirror that again, just so I've saved the changes there. And this isn't round enough for my liking. It's got to be rounder. That's a bit better. <laughs> 228. What is going on, guys? What is going on? I'm just a man from Manchester. I've realized I've not modeled this. Oh, maybe that doesn't matter. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Hey Slav Nezure. how's it going? So, I mean, this needs to be a little bit wider actually, doesn't it? Oh, where's that gone? And it has some inset there. That's kind of cool, I like that. So I'm just going to use box cutter again. Nope, not circle. Hmm. 
then mod scroll. If you go to normal, it'll be the axis will be based off the normal of the face, the selection, which is really helpful. Show some of your body parts for the viewers. Um, that's all I've got for you. We just got elbowed. Gonna mirror this over again just so it's even. <clears throat> it's looking sweet. So even though we've done this across, blue hair when? When Ninja subscribes. <laughs> no, 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 he had to do it himself. He had to do it himself. That's probably not even the real ninja anyway, so I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It is real. Two hundred and sixty two, my word. He actually did gift it to him. He's probably gonna <laughs> If you actually did, he's probably just gonna look at it like who the hell is this guy, man? Hey Kashmi. So I'm going to change this bevel to um, weight. No, I'm not. Ignore that. And now it's freezing. Two hundred and seventy-two. What is going on, man? Well, what would I even call it, the Discord server? I don't... I don't even know what's happened to this anymore now. You guys have done something to it. Delete that. What's going on? This is our stream now. Hey, infamous. I imagine that's how you say it. Um, you're very much welcome here, as is everyone who has sort of stumbled across this stream. Um, you are very much welcome and appreciated. See, typically, like, I um, 
I struggle with trying to say people's usernames. So I'm quite proud of that one, that I got that one right. I feel like this needs to be a little bit higher up as well. Have you ever considered 3D printing um, my models? Uh, not for Rust. I've been tempted to make uh, my son some toys. Um, Rectangular Snake, thank you so much. You're very much welcome here and I really appreciate the the love from you. See guys, I'm getting distracted again, man. I am, and that's okay. Can you mirror a collection? Good question, I don't know. That's a bit more like it. I really don't know, Matt. Yeah, I was a bit wary about it. It was more like I wanted to make sort of like little toy cars for him. Um that he could sort of like change certain things about it but um just didn't get there i guess why is it when i do all transforms that disappears oh it's because i've got hops mirror on maybe yeah Now I can. Hey, Satavej, how's it going? You're very much welcome here. Ah, oh, my pleasure, honestly. My pleasure. It's been a really fun process, really. And having all you here um, has made it all that much fun. Much more fun. Two hundred ninety-five. Oh my goodness. Um. I feel very much out of place. I don't really know what's going on at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are just awesome. Really, really awesome. <clears throat> Thank you for the follows. <laughs> um, I mean, I could pass it along to Helk um, and others. Um, just drop me a message with what you want and I can pass it on. And yeah, I'll be glad to. Glad to accommodate for that. Hey Zedge for the win. 
Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you to say. Man, I'm just sort of really blown away by all the kindness that you've everyone's shown. Even just like just like from sharing it. Um, I mean totally unnecessary. <laughs> uh but I really like do appreciate it. I mean, this stream is just like, because I just love making models, I like making art, so. Am I going to punch Haramazi for you? I will love you more. Um, Maybe if you subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Got nothing but love for that guy. Paper Wizard with the subscription, thank you so much from iTechie. What a generous guy, man. He is a legend, isn't he? What a legend he is. It's weird this because like <laughs> So what would I call the um the Discord I techie the techie Ma Isaac Ma Isaac What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, isn't that your credit card? That. <laughs> um. <laughs> Followers of Pilgrim. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what to say, guys. Over 300 people watching right now, which is nuts. Yeah, I know, Nino. I was trying to find it. Um, the pilgrimage, that's so good. Um, Zedge, for the way you said, what's your favorite item you've designed for Rust? Um, good question. I had that before. Um, not that it's not a good question because someone else has asked it. But... Um, It's it's so difficult because there's so there's so different each asset. I it's very difficult for me to to put one down. I like the quirky, quirky stuff like the diet soda, silencer cans. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> Cynical greed thinks I should get a. Um, Donation stream ready for a secret labs chair. Um, hey, Alpha Channel, I'm all good. I'm feeling great. You guys are awesome. The secret lab chair was cool. I like that sort of collaboration part. Thank you, yeah. I mean, the stream feels kind of incomplete. I should have worn my um maybe next time I'll wear my rust hoodie, which is a little bit too small for me. So if I speak a little bit differently then then you'll know that that it's too small for me. But um <laughs> I kinda like the poker tables. Um this looks like Hulk. <laughs> Uh, 
Yes, you can. Um, it's it's really difficult, you know, really difficult to say. I mean, I love the sunburn assets. Um, here we go. I do need a light, but not like a cigarette light. I think what makes it like them, I guess, even more... Like, maybe this will help out. Um, now you can see my, my mug a little bit better. Um, like, with especially with stuff like this, I think, like, seeing them in motion when they're... Um, when they're animated, seeing them moving about, like... Um, is, like... It really impresses me and like makes me like the asset more or less. Uh, the liquid was made by an amazing character artist called Taylor. Um, man, what's his last name? <laughs> oh man! Yeah, the phone was really fun. The phone was awesome to make. I really enjoyed that. Taylor Reynolds, that's it, Perks. I always forget Reynolds. Is the tube inside a texture, or did you actually put one inside? Uh, it's actually one inside, yeah. Um, Three hundred and thirty one. Crazy. Aku very much um appreciate you being here. Um where am I from? I'm i I'm a, I'm from Manchester. Um in England. But I live in Wales, North Wales, with my wife and family. Right. Let's let's actually do some more modelling, right? That's, I assume, why you're here. Well, some of you. <laughs> Ooh. It just feels so good just to... ASIM12471 Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, I just can't express how awesome this feels um, and how awesome you all are. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, sorry Tank Girl. Uh, this is actually going to be the trigger. So I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to um, smart apply this. And I'm just going to get rid of this again, because I don't need that anymore. So this will end up here. And if you're new to the stream, um, you're very much welcome for one. Secondly, um, I was making a tutorial on how to make improvised weapons uh, because I do get quite a few questions about it. Um, thank you for the host, Tank Girl. What is a host? Um, um, but um, 
making me lose track of my thought now. <clears throat> um, but yeah, and I didn't want because I started streaming at the same time as making it. I didn't want to it to conflict, and um, I just decided that to post the first Vertigo Gaming Badman. Um, you're very much welcome here, Vertigo. Um, love your stuff, dude. Um, yeah, so... That's the uh, the playlist. I've uploaded the first six videos of it, which is around about like five hours of this entire process. Um, and I chose this weapon because it seemed to be like, um, like the perfect weapon for improvised weapons because all the questions I get are like tape, um, welds, wood, how do I make wood and stuff like that. And when I saw it, I was like, it's pretty simple. Um, and yet, like, it, it has enough of it that we can do something really quite cool. Um, Rick Grieve. Rick Grieve. Are you the guy who's done the uh, knife tutorial, is it? <laughs> yeah, bad man. Looks so good. Good job on that. Man, I just uh, looked at this, the subs and, like, you guys are insane, man. Um, amazing. Oh, no, really? <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't have the, uh, <laughs> the YouTube um, chat open. Hello, Santeriz Salvora. If you're still there, maybe, maybe you're not. And Sarav Kumar. How to get Greeble Texture in Substance Painter. Uh, download it and put it in. I think it's probably the best answer. What Greeble Texture? I have no idea, dude. No idea. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make the uh, the clip uh, the the coil thing here now, and like Blender does it in a really strange way. Like it, it's to me, it's really bizarre. They should have like a, a primitive. They probably do. And I just don't know where it is. Um, but the way you, that you do it is you have to create. Uh, circle curve, obviously not that big, because that's mental. Uh, I'm just going to scale reset. And then what you have to do, which is really bizarre, right? You have to select the points and move them to the side from the origin point, And then you apply a screw modifier and then you increase the screw 
which is mental. That that's such a strange way of doing it. Like who thought that that would be the best way to to make a spring? Uh, like in 3ds Max, it's just a preset model that you can change on the fly, which is you know super awesome. It's just a it's like unnecessary, and obviously create um, changing the iterations. Um, there's an add-on for that. There probably is, yeah. I just use the um, the sp the coil spring helix thing. Um. Um, yeah, nothing fancy. So I'm just going to scale this down. I'm just going to increase the, um, take the render views off step viewport, uh, st steps up to something like 32. And the good thing about this is that it's quite tight. So the retopology part of this would be quite easy, relatively easy, you know? So uh, what I want to do is um, increase, not that. Uh, if you go to increase the thickness, what you have to do is you go back into the curve and uh, scale it up. Let's fit that in there. And just looking at the reference, which you can't really see how many turns there are. Just got sort of guess. So there's quite a lot of turns actually, so the way we sort of mitigate this is like we scale it down. Thank you so much for the follows, uh, Darren Gunn and Acerig, and also a uh, Revso. Uh, you're awesome. And then we sort of decrease the um, the screw amount. Not like that. Something like this, maybe a little bit more than that. Infamous, uh, thank you. I hope it's worthwhile. <laughs> Did not expect that. Uh, you're very much welcome, and thank you for the follow. Yeah, I do all the texturing as well. Hey, Blakey. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> oh man. So one of them goes down there and one of them goes up, right? So that's good so I want it just to be pretty much how it is now so I'm going to use this one to go up and to go left and the way I'm going to do that is so this is the gun almost that 400 mental Absolutely mental. So what I'm probably going to do is use a Bezier. Gian looks. I love to see how that goes. 
and I really want to see more of um, Fusion 360. The bevel operations just look crazy good, crazy good. It's just so technical, and I'm not really technical minded. Um, a bit of a smooth brain like that. <clears throat> So I'm just sort of lining this um, this curve up because I'm going to sort of like attach it to it if I can, maybe get sort of similar thickness. Oh, we've hit four hundred. <laughs> Man, if I had a root beer, I would have celebrated with a root beer. This is insane. 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 I was not expecting this tonight. Yeah, I'm going to tell my wife if she's not going to understand a single thing. Maybe. Duck with the, the cheer, bad man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. Um, I take a <laughs> it would have been a lot easier, Max. Yep, you're right. I'm probably doing it a dumb way, to be honest. And I'm also extremely distracted, so you're going to have to forgive me. Stuff like this is a little bit more complicated in Blender, I've found. But the trade-off is that the modeling tools are just so good. The add-ons are just so good. Do you know AK Recoil? Not personally, no. Um, it's a strange name to have. I'm not gonna lie. Grease paint. Okay, right, yeah. Hey, Ashrinux. <laughs> So 
See, this is why I panic and all you guys realize that actually Tom's not actually a good artist. He's winging it. And he has every right to be weirded out by this. I mean, I could just straight up just That's not looking that. You realise that years ago, Holmesy. <laughs> it's the living and breathing Holmesy. Now the stream is crazy, now that Holmes is here. See you, Cynical Greed. Thank you so much for sticking around, dude. You're very much welcome here. And everyone else who has stumbled across this stream, you're very much welcome here. Just to chill and relax and lurk. Um, you are very much welcome. Yeah, Holmes, you were saying just before how um, how badass you were. You're very much appreciated, dude. Is Shadow Frax here? No, but Shadow Man is. <clears throat> there he is, Shadow Man. You're very much welcome here, dude. Or dude, whoever you are. You know what, I've not checked my phone, my wife must could have messaged me or anything. Nope. She must be okay. My nose is actually CG. It's not it's not actually this large. <laughs> It's like 
close to like two million to two and a half million. The rest is low poly. <clears throat> Oh, thanks, Mavises. You're very much welcome here. Oh, it's going to twist a little bit, isn't it? I'm going to have to fix that. Thank you for all the follows. This is a bit messy, but I've been on this part for a while because you all distracted me in a good way, of course. I mean, it's so much more difficult to do this in Blender than it is in 3ds Max. Let's just leave it at that. That's better. They'll never know. They'll never know. Thank you for the uh, the follow, Sephirax. Uh Willy on Smack. Daunty. Willie, I advise you not to go on Smack. Unless you're thinking Smackdown, as in wrestling. We're on 461, man. 461. I know it's never going to happen again, so I'm just sort of like... I'm just sort of like enjoying it. I need NRG, very much welcome here. Um, as is everyone who's lurking in the uh, in the background. It seems like we might hit 500, which is nuts. Uh, can I do portfolio reviews? Sure thing. That's something that I kind of 
wanted to do a little bit um, if people were up for that um, and it'd be good to have you guys here as well to go through that as well yeah I was thinking that uh, Rick Reeve actually that's what when I, as I was welding them together I was like man like maybe I should just do this instead but I, I was too committed to the, the way that I was doing it so like for this I'll probably just go like that maybe I don't know Oh, then delete that. Vegemite is Marmite over here, if I'm not mistaken. How intensive is something like this um, on a PC? Well, it depends what PC you have. By the way, LSD hostile, you're very much welcome here, dude. Uh, yeah, it depends what PC you've got I mean if you're running on a laptop it blend is pretty good like that actually um, should be alright um, it just tends to crash a little bit blend I think blend is quite known to crash <laughs> I can't remember, but is there a, a um, way to make it thicker? Is it solidify? It's not solidify, is it? You like in, in Max where you can um, push the mesh out? Solidify works. Oh, yeah. There we go. I just want to create a little bit thicker. Oh, but it does some serious damage there. Whoa, that's mental. What? I have to read this a little bit, aren't I? That's pretty annoying that it just disappears a little bit. Shrink flatten. Oh, well. I wish I'd known that before doing this. Because I'm still learning Blender. I mean, I don't know. I would have done it by now in 3ds Max for sure. 100%. So, you guys helping me with this is actually really cool.
Oh, okay, that's weird. Just do it the normal way then. Right. If you're new to the chat, you're very much welcome. New to the channel, in fact. Born to 76 and climbing. Crazy. Absolutely nuts, man. You guys are awesome. Absolutely mental. Good night, bad rip. Take it easy. Number three, what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't believe you. I think this is a troll. Oh, shoot, I am as well. <laughs> <sighs> what? I mean, I want this place to be, if it's going to be anything, just a place where we can do art, chat about art, have a bit of fun, be chill. So I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you so much, Joe3000. You're so, so welcome here. Um, I just appreciate everyone coming just to check it out. I just appreciate you lurking. You don't have to interact. You don't have to sub. You don't have to do any of that. Um, that's not why I was doing this. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So I'm pretty happy with the progress of this. Pretty happy indeed. Um, I probably just want to take the, the scissor rip into uh, the scissor bayonet into zebrush maybe and just sort of donate life savings yes if you can donate your life savings despite what's going on in the world i appreciate that <laughs> thank you guys uh, i wish um LSD. At the moment, it's just pers personal. So what? So the deal was when I started streaming, I was streaming Rust artwork. If you look back in my uh, previous um, streams, I was streaming a, a submarine, um, and then I was told just to hold off until we can have a bit of a chat about this because obviously there's some stuff that. We want to keep a bit hidden, which is, you know, it's pretty industry standard, right? Um, I don't think I've got a donation link, to be fair. I don't have a donate donation link. Um, it, it feels kind of weird, like, providing that, because it almost feels like I'm asking for, for money, and I'm not. Um, yeah. Yeah, that came from me. And also the, um, I guess, the, the camel. There 
Yeah. I showed that. Maybe I shouldn't have showed it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, I'm going to destroy this name. Pahan Balilk. <laughs> Uh, oh, Vertigo, thank you so much for following. Um, as I said before, you're awesome, dude. And we are over 500. <laughs> We're nearly at that thousand goal. Uh, I did. I didn't think it was worth airing, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, thanks, LSD. So I've been with Face Punch for, well, um, when it comes March, it'll be um, eight years. So originally I started on Gary's Mod making some random stuff on Gary's mod and that was quite that was awesome because it's Gary's mod um and then I got put onto Rust um and so that was like very early on in in the development of that and it's kind of like really strange and kind of awesome to see it develop over time working on it and then seeing like how it sort of exploded because I thought it was pretty popular anyway and then man when you know everything like this happened recently it's just insane uh, am I doing anything for Sandbox? not not at the minute I'm just solely working on Rust um, you're on subbing for Duck now <laughs> cringiest <laughs> So, I don't think there's much else, modelling-wise, in Blender to to do. Um, I've do like, some of it looks kind of incomplete here because I've got some of it in ZBrush. Let me load some of the ZBrush stuff up. I did make some stuff for Ruin. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, I'm going to bring some stuff in. What I meant by that was modelling it from scratch. I think I've pretty much got everything down. Um, so for Ruin, um, I made the Sword and Shield, which was awesome. I love making that. And then I made like a Warhammer. Hey Ricky Reeve, I'm just I'm just so thankful that um, you guys can just be here and just chill, you know. Thank you for all the follows. <laughs> um okay so I'm just, I'm just trying to not get distracted by um people coming in and watching <clears throat> zebrush files okay open it's a digital dong Maybe that should be an emote. Digital dong. Oh man. With a thousand bits. You're insane, dude. Thank you for the follow, BGC Blue and Stylo and PJ Fryer and Fran6 and Wade Gaming, Sir Denny91, Controller007. All welcome. Everyone here is welcome. 
So for the tape, if you um, if if you have tuned in a bit late to this, um, which I imagine most of you have, um, um, before I explain this, so I do the tape in Marvelous Designer, um, and then um, I weld all the the verts that need to be welded in Blender, import it into ZBrush. And then uh, I just tidy it up a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, that's my really my process for for the tape. Nothing too excited, exciting. And for, I mean, I could have sub demodeled this and uh, like the, the brass fit in here. Um, 500 viewers, yeah. I think on my it's 497, but that's all good. It was 500 before. <laughs> Infamous Suspy. Very much welcome here. Oh man. Vase with the 500 bits. You guys are insane. I know that's like, what? I think it's like £5. Which is, you don't have to, you know. There can only be one. <laughs> Can you show topology? Like read topology, I take it. Hot Nick, bad man. What a crazy dude, man. How's it going, man? I was really enjoying your um your stream earlier. Oh my word. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know what to say. My mind is blown. My mind is blown. Level 3 hype train. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Sire XE and Risky. I better get used to it. <laughs> the thing is that I, I won't, I won't ever be able to get used to this. Um, you'll approach the work you do, man. Happy to be able to tell you while we are fortunate enough to observe. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I mean, like. This is the thing, like, I wasn't, because I've never really seen, well, there probably has been, but, like, a 3D sort of art Twitch stream, you know, so I thought, you know, I might as well. You can subscribe for free for one month with Twitch Prime, that's true. All here for the memes, 100%. 100% for the memes. Um, okay. Yeah, I can show some retopology. That's what I was going to do. Um, so, in fact, I think... Killer G, man. Save your money, dude. Save your money. We need the level three. It's level five now, man. Man, Is being overly nice. Um, <laughs> a, 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 an accusation.
man, there's like... Ah, Bubba's, thank you so much for the, the sub. Um, everyone. Oh, man. There's over 100 subs now, man. That's like... You know what it was? It's because I said, um, I said that I like, uh, I said that I like, uh, pineapple pizza. <laughs> Killer G4. I think they do want that Discord, don't they? My Isaac. <laughs> I'll dye my hair blue and eat a pineapple pizza. So with this Discord, um Yeah, perks, could you? Because I have no idea. I mean, yeah. Oh, it's okay, Nino. You do so much anyway, dude. Honestly. I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely bursting for the toilet. But I really want to stay f for all of this. Yeah, I've got a Discord server, but that's just for like me and a couple of mates. Thank you so much for all the follows, everyone. I honestly really appreciate it. Nasaki, very much welcome it. Everyone who is coming to this art stream, you are so welcome here, honestly. Um, perks, save your money, dude. <laughs> Uppercut, thank you so much for following. Did I start last time? Did I start doing some read apology? I think I did, didn't I, right? Hey, Uppercut, how's it going? So, if you don't know, I use Topper Gun 3 for my read topology. Um, I find it to be, like, super, super quick. Let's see. Load scene. I don't think I saved it. You know what? I don't think I saved the um. <laughs> Gianna looks good job, man. Five hundred forty-two. Goodness me, guys. What is going on? I'm just going to message Alistair and just say he's nuts. Alistair is the man. He probably is asleep. Just sending a message anyway, so. Right. <sighs> okay.
They don't want to decide on the name of the server yet. Uh, I don't know. I think Pilgrimage was quite good. It's quite funny. Um, but I don't know if that's, I don't know, a bit weird. A pit of ducklings smeared in Vaseline so you can make a quick escape to the office. Yeah, I'm going to go toilet. Mate, infamous, you absolute beast. I'll be right back, guys. I will be right back. Oh, these guys are insane. What is going on? What is going on? I'm back. <clears throat> I feel so much better. Pilgrim's Progress is the best book. Don't forget to play some ads and breaks. <laughs> Hot Nick, you bad man. Um. Thank you, Nino. Oh, did he? Oh, wow. <laughs> Mate, that would be nuts if you hosted. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so read apology. So I probably take a different approach uh, to a lot of artists um, and I think it's because I use ZBrush quite a lot I don't really use like a mid-level model for my base mesh um, I go I, I use Topogun to draw on to create the, the low poly um, and this is Topogun 3 so where shall I start So I'm just going to just draw in edges and verts and lines and whatnot. Just sort of trying to capture the, the general shape of it. And if I think that it just needs a little bit more detail, I'll just add in... How come many objects in the game doesn't have a world models? Uh, honestly, maybe just... Um, time to do it um it's something that i wanted to do i did take a stab at some of them that i felt like needed some um so like the blood bag for example that which i don't think has been implemented in yet um is there anything else on my art station that 
the anti-red pills. Yeah, probably, performance-wise. I don't know exactly. Uh, but at least me isn't just chicken all the time now, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, that's like such low-hanging fruit, huh, Nick? Uh, last time I... Um, leak something I got in a little bit of trouble so <laughs> this Hutnik Submarine probably was the leak as well. Um, <clears throat> I, can, I mean, I can understand it. It's fair. I probably shouldn't have. But, um, you know, Hulk has said that I can stream some stuff, but we'll have to have a talk about it. Um, and obviously, I just don't know what that stuff is. I imagine it's going to be stuff more like prop stuff rather than... I know about submarine for a few months now. <laughs> well, the 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 camel was on after I did... When I, after I showed it. <clears throat> but it is, you know, it's fair. It's, you know, Hulk's, Hulk's baby. You know, he gets to choose this sort of stuff. Admittedly, I was a little bit down about it because streaming throughout the day really works for me in terms of time-wise because then I could have the evenings just to spend with my wife and my kids, which I can do anyway, but it's just like, you know, it was just, it was kind of convenient. The accident book. <laughs> um, good alternatives for Topper Gun. Yeah, so there's... I mean, there's... You can sort of do this sort of work in Blender. Either through... Um, a plugin called uh, Retopo Flow 3, I think it's called. Or you can use... I think it's like a shrink wrap modifier. Um, and then just poly edge poly mod uh, model it like I'm kind of doing here. Um, yeah. So this kind of goes in a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna create a little bit of detail because I, I want to capture that sort of. That's that detail that's in there, you know? Yeah, we top of flow three is is kind of expensive. And the problem is is that it didn't it didn't really work for me. It just sort of failed because of like poly counts. I'm just using the 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 highlight here just to as a guide of where to put my um my new edges. Speed with Topo. Is that free, Nino? It's made by that uh, French guy, right? I can't remember his name. And as a sort of like... In fact, he has like some pretty cool tools, if I remember. If you're new to the stream, you are very much welcome. I really... This, this isn't normal for this stream. <laughs> By any means, so uh, I'm really glad you found it. 
even if you're just lurking, you are very much welcome just to chill, hang out. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Maybe increase the resolution here of that a little bit just to capture that curve a little bit better. Maybe I kind of want, I mean, I could leave it for the normal map to do, to capture that edge there, or I can just insert, because this, this is going to be like a first person weapon, right? So it's going to, Yeah, can you see it's sort of like, I need to put some more edges in, so I'm just going to bring that a little bit lower. Some lever action there, that would be cool, um, Hutnik. I think there's definitely, definitely room to grow for uh, new weapons, but it's just like, you know, uh, one, I'm not allowed to say. Two, um, you know, Rust is one of those games that we keep adding stuff to because uh, it's just one of those games that can just keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it like that. Some tier one weapon. So actually, I'm going to bring an edge in around here just to capture that shape a little bit better. I feel like this is too low poly there. <laughs> Nightmare. Um, take it easy, dude. You know, people might say, like, why are you still with Face Punch after all these years? Are you not bored of it? And honestly, I'm not. Uh, Face Punch, I've said this before, but Face Punch is one of those studios that just really take care of you. Um, and, like, they, um, they really appreciate you and give you a lot of trust with things. And, um... I think that's just, it's, it feels quite unique. And it would feel wrong to leave them, because I, I, honestly, I feel like they're family. Like eight years with the same people around me. Obviously, some have gone, um, new people have joined, but they, they're, like, they're like family to me. Um, being there from the, nearly the start of Rust. Um, I, I want to see... The rust to the end, you know. I want to see it fully rusted. That's a dad joke for you. Um, <laughs> I don't think I need to do that. I think Holmesy does that for me. But yeah, I, I, I want to stick around for Rust. And honestly, it's my type of game. And not only that, but as an artist, I feel fulfilled. I fulfill, feel fulfilled making art for Rust because it's my kind of style. Um, you're being a, a character artist to begin with and being someone who, was, who really cared about story in video games. Who, like, I grew up on like Final Fantasy and... Um, other story-based games. Um, 
inspired by Uncharted series and you know um, and I want to weave story into props the mundane things like a phone for example um, I want to portray uh, a history in those assets so that the player can sort of try and guess I think that's one of the reasons why I really loved Shadow Frax's um, lore video Hey, I take it. I, you know, I graduated university with a first top of my class and I couldn't get a job for a year. And in that time, I was honestly, um, I was suicidal. I actually, you know, I wanted to end it all. And uh, thank God that never happened. Um, and I just had to keep pursuing. Um, like it can be incredibly discouraging not getting work, um, but you got you got if you have a passion for it, you gotta keep keep at it. Um. <laughs> Trying to read the details that were added. That's funny corrosion. Yeah, that was a dark time. Um, not just for me, but my family as well. My family had gone through some pretty not so nice stuff. Something happened with my sister and I went to go live with her. Um, sort of help her out. And I just sort of saw her break down mentally, um, which was very, very hard. And that affected me as well as the stuff that I was dealing with personally um, yeah man send your portfolio thank you cynical <laughs> uh, no honestly that's just me just story time with Tom sort of thing um, so don't don't worry about that dude Cool, man. I like your camera. Oh, that's a cool lightsaber. I like the uh, electric in it. That PC did is uh, is in part because of your efforts, man. Uh, we listened to Shadowfrax's law while driving home from a wedding. That night I climbed into the refrigerator and tried very hard to get as many details as possible. <laughs> that piece he did is in part because of your efforts, man. It adds so, so much to all the rest. If I had a skin immortalised in-game, what would you want it to be? I mean, obviously it is, but this would be like Tom's gas station or Tom's double barrel. Ooh, good question. I like bows and arrows, man. I like bows and arrows. Probably because I like slaughtering so much as a kid. Um, I'll have to come back to you on that one, Infamous. That's a tough one. That study desk is pretty cool. Um, I techie. I like the camera, it's really cool. I think with the camera, um, dude, what would really benefit this, I know you've got a little bit of surface wear there in the gloss, but I think that 
especially if it's in, in an attic. It feels a bit too clean. Well, it looks like it's in an attic at least. Hey, BV Kin. You're very much welcome here. Um, yeah, this is just for fun. Uh, this is for you guys. I was... Um, Just modeling it because I'm making a uh, tutorial based from it, which is on uh, YouTube. Ah, oh, Sir Denny, thank you so much for the sub. It's greatly appreciated, man. Tier two as well, man. I think you're like the second person to do that. You didn't have to do that, dude. I appreciate it there, man. <clears throat> nice one, uh, Techie. That's cool. Yeah, that's true, actually. 5M. That Fiverr thing, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what you meant. Oh, that's nasty, that transition there. Look at that. Let's fix that. GTA, not Fiverr. <laughs> okay. My bad. Sir Winter, you bad man. What are you doing here? Oh, thanks, Sir Denny. I really appreciate like, those kind words. Yeah, so Winter just subscribed. All right. Uh, thanks for hanging around, Tank Girl. Uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, take it easy. God bless, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that joke. It's like midnight here. <laughs> True backup gamer. Hello, how's it going? Man, I think we might hit 600. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Thank you for the follow, true backup gamer. You are truly backing up this stream. I don't know where I was going with that one. So yeah, I'm just trying to capture the details here in this mesh. Failed dad jokes. 
my life. Anyone at Face Punch knows how many dad jokes I crack. Even at like really inappropriate times where I shouldn't. So, like, I, f I feel myself itching to do it as well. Like, I'll be sat there just thinking about what someone said for like five, ten minutes to see if I can create a joke from it. So, Nath, very much welcome, dude. You know what, that, that's, uh, that's exactly, well, if it's going to be anything, true backup gamer, I'm just going to call you backup, because it's kind of laborious saying the whole thing. Um, that's, that sounds kind of nice to have. This is like a uh, chat for creators. That's cool, man. That's all good, you know, you're still very much welcome here. Five Hey Duck, um, thank you so much for sticking around dude, um, take it easy, God bless, have a good sleep. Really digging the skins that you're making dude. Catch you later Vanath. Thank you so much for the uh, follow. Um, Dadu. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, sweet. I appreciate that. Peg part is the trigger, the new trigger. So it probably should be more like this, really. You could just have a bar going across or something. Hey, so into I've been with Face Punch for like nearly eight years eight years this march just after i turned 30. it's my it's my 30th towards the end of this month 
I think they did ask Phoenix. So, so winter and backup. I am. Um, <laughs> I was originally streaming wrist work, and then I got told off because I was a bit silly. I guess uh, I didn't ask properly, and um, so I just started to stream. I guess the tutorial model that I was doing. Schmick. Um. Yeah. Let me just close this down. I'm just going to save this. Um, that one. I think it might have been Killer G. I think he's gone. No, he's still here. Thanks, backup. I appreciate the kind words. And it's kind of like a bayonet on the end. Edge selection off. What's your favourite weapon, uh, so Winter? So again, I'm just going to use the highlight really just to draw where the I think the edges should go. Shield design when <laughs> I think we've yeah you know, that's sort of floated around that idea before, but it's just the mechanics of a shield. So I know we've got melees, but yeah, it's a bit it's a bit tough. We probably have to refactor things. The Tommy. Oh, okay, cool. Oh yes. Perks, Nokia on a stick. <laughs> yeah, that that's going to be the next project, a Nokia on the stick. I think. Tier 3 weapon, for sure. Um, I just didn't like the way it looked, Astronux. I felt like it was a bit, eh, it could have been used for something else. Um, so, like, the peg is a bit thicker, I, I guess a bit more, more visually uh, pleasing there. So I'm just sort of drawing a base meshing as a sort of like a guide really. Still using that highlight. Thanks, Astronux.
That was Matt. That was concerned mom in the chat. Yeah, he used um Oh no, the body bags. Sorry, I was thinking of something completely different. <laughs> yeah, the body bags were um with me. Um That's this. Thanks, Suenta. I appreciate that. I did that four years ago. How crazy is that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, craftable grenade launcher. I have no idea. <laughs> Jacob. You're awfully kind, dude. Again, Sri Raka. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking you were saying. But, um... Yeah. Rise Rock, thank you so much. You're very much welcome here. And everyone else who's lurking. Nothing but love for you. Hmm, this is interesting. So, I might smash the average now, perhaps. Um, because so far, the average... So, to get hit partner, which I'm not even aiming for, really. It just so happens that it's happening. That you have to get, like, 75 average viewers. And at the moment, <laughs> the average is 545 so, um, um, you guys are insane, absolutely insane. Thank you for following detail, details, should I say, and Oxin, Rise Rock, all very much welcome. <laughs> just, just apply right now. Achievements. Oh no, the actual actual average has gone up to twenty point fifteen. So yeah. Who's Aiden? No, I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to shortcut it, dude. If it's gonna happen, it's gotta be legit, you know. I've got to have earned it. Had to have earned it, should I say. I don't want a, a free pass just because... 
Yeah, I work for Face Punch or whatever. I appreciate it though, dude, honestly. I mean, you can do if you want to. It's entirely up to you. I won't I wouldn't complain. <laughs> Realize I've not had anything to eat in a while. Starting to get a little bit hungry. Hmm, that's interesting. Because of one of your art pieces, I'm now modeling a baby crib with the robot legs. I don't know about Kalancha. Ha 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 ha. Said that as your belly growled. Go get something to eat, dude. Man, how is the stream still at like f over 500? This is absolutely nuts, guys. What is even going on? You know what, I really like UV and I really enjoy it. I used to hate it in 3ds Max, but in Blender I really like it. It probably sounds really weird because I don't really know many people who like UV ink. I like it, man. I don't know what it is about it, but I really enjoy it. Maybe just seeing things go a bit flat. I don't know. Voice work, more speed. Are you a voice actor then? A voice. I said that strange, didn't I? I feel like this fits the light that I've got up a lot nicer, this background. Yeah, so much better. I need a shave. I'm getting a bit of a neck beard going on. I just changed it. Just changed it. That's what should be in Rust. Full on neck beards.
Well, six million verts. You change the name of bits. Be cool if you could call them verts. Throw some verts at me. Hey Graham, very much welcome here. You can change the name of the ID did tag though. It's just a thought, maybe. I feel like here it's kind of losing some of the form. I need to um, increase, I need to create another edge loop there just to catch that. Otherwise, it's just going to look a bit strange. Hey Ashinux, oh thank you so much. Yeah, you get some sleep, dude. I don't know when I'm going to be up to. It's nearly one o'clock here, where I am. Um, I just feel so awake and very, very hungry. So I'm in a weird state right now. You having me on? Yeah, Ryan, dude. Um, Daunty, uh, very much welcome here. Um, so I used to work in the office uh, until I got married two years ago, and then I moved to a completely different location. Um, and I, I've been working from home for about two years now. Uh, leading up to three years so um i keep, i feel kind of lucky kind of blessed that um the current situation that we find all of ourselves in i feel like nothing has really changed that much in terms of work uh in the in the working situation um and i've said in past um Um, streams that like um, I used to find it difficult to work from home because I used to find it so distracting alright back up take it easy dude thanks for, for hanging out I really appreciate it You never really leave your bedroom, Nino. Your apartment yeah see when I worked from home for the first time I was in, in a flat and like where my workspace was it was right next to well it was in my living room basically right next to my kitchen and like I just had every distraction around me I just it was I found it way too difficult whereas with this I have a separate room for it and so like I'm able to sort of separate myself mentally. Man, I still can't believe um, Keemstar was in here. K 
Keemster. Crazy. Um, just general. Keemster was in here. He was asking for a skin. He said I was if I was I was the guy to uh, ask for a, a skin, which I'm not really. Thank you so much for following Martez. Very much appreciated. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Lakey, don't blame you. Yeah, I'd probably go into bed, but I'm very much awake right now. So, um, good night, dude. Thanks for sticking around for so long. If you, um, want to catch me outside of Twitch I do have uh, a Twitter the Twitter the twit um, so you can check up um, if you don't get you know if you're not following or anything like that um, I can just post a link oh Nightbot yeah I forgot I set that up <laughs> um Feel free to follow me on there, and um, I'll be posting maybe like five to ten minutes before I uh, jump on. Jacob, <laughs> thanks for sharing in um, community, by the way, dude. I appreciate that. Do you need to be super creative to do stuff like this? Like, do you need to be good at drawing or do you think it's totally doable without them skills? Killer, I can't draw. I'm not a 2D artist in the slightest. In fact, I don't think I'm very creative at all. Honestly, I'm not just saying that to get, like, sympathy votes or whatever. Um, I gen genuinely don't... I'm not that creative. I find it very difficult um, to be creative. Um, so... I guess the creativity that I've I've done myself is kind of like a lot of study of other artists, uh, other games. One big inspiration for me personally was Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. Um, like one inspiration for like the drawing on the models was when I think in Left 4 Dead 2 they, they portrayed some of the story through writing in the environment on the walls and stuff like that so you could get a lot of information from that you could do that in like Portal as well they had that in Portal and so that was like a big influence on me so like you sort of pull from the things that you sort of surround yourself in in terms of artwork and other artists and, and games that inspire you um and so, like, even though I'd consider myself not very creative, I just sort of pull elements from different things. I just sort of, like, it's like a Frankenstein creation, you know? Um, that would be my advice if, like, you, you're a little bit worried about that. Uh, just try and pull from your inspiration and pull from this, the things around you. Frankensteining, for sure.
I mean, with this, in some way, I'd be tempted just to like. Well, no, I'm going to model it. No worries, killer. I hope it was helpful in some way. Let's make this term a thing. It seems to me that you uh, have an eye for detail and you understand that the end user wants to be immersed into the world. Like you can create the most beautiful original artwork, but if the viewer has no link to it, then that artwork might as well just be clouds in the sky that will disappear in a few moments. It's the detail that brings the end user into the world. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd, I'd uh, agree with that dude. That's a good analysis of it. Uh, I do care about those small details um, a lot. Thank you so much for the follow, Graham. It's because, like, the real world, it isn't plain. It has so many micro details, so much history in the things that we have, like, you know, fingerprints on a on an old camera, for example, just on the on the brushed metal. Um, and it's like you just got to look at something. And just try and extract as much as you can from it. Um, and just try and sort of emulate that in your own artwork. Ah oh, man, I really appreciate the the sub, uh, Andori Mas Andori Masuta. You're very much welcome here. Getting closer, guys and girls. Getting closer to a thousand. Maybe I should have um, <laughs> reduced the um, the count. I just thought, and I set it to like next month, uh, two months away from now as well, because I just thought it was unrealistic to do it in one night. <laughs> in one month, never mind a night. insane if like if you want to try and get that i really wouldn't mind you sharing the stream <laughs> keep my goals high yeah now what i tend to do with this is that i, I tend to um put a, a little bit of a um well, an edge loop around, just for the normals, for the normals, and also there's some edge detailing going around anyway, so might as well. And this can just be removed in the LODs. I don't really want too much detail in this part. I think that should be enough there. There's a lot of detail in that part. Just gonna move that up a little bit.
But like, I I can't forget like this. My artwork isn't dependent on me. Like, I'm really dependent on the concept artists. Like Paul. Paul is like some amazing concept art. Like he he like Howie and 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 him really are the ones that define the art style. Um, it's really my goal to try and bring that to life. Yeah, so um, I have to do like lods um, corrosion. Um, so you know it will work for you guys in game. And it's like one of the worst parts. I hate it. It's like I've just like when I make a really nice asset that I'm really happy with, and then I've just got to basically destroy it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, um, Contix D. Yeah, you can bake a lot down. I mean, that's what uh, you skinners do, right? You bake so much uh, detail down that it really does like blow my mind. Like how you manage to do it. realize I even have discord open you could be sending me messages perks I want to even know no I've got no messages <laughs> that's that's um, my life right there guys we're getting closer to 600 speaking of discord Thank you for the uh, the follow, Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse ninety eight. That means there's like at least minimum ninety seven other dead mice out there. How did you get that username? Why would you ch choose that? I'm intrigued. Maybe I don't know. Could be some weird fetish thing that I won't I won't wanna hear. Dead mouse Birth year? That's weird. It's true. It's true. He is a, he is a musician. Yeah. Well, he's welcome here anyway, or she. I'm going to be tired tomorrow. At least it isn't dead mice, exactly. Lit man, it's growing. <laughs> mice aside. <laughs> if you're new to the stream, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, 
you're very much appreciated just to look, hang around, do nothing, um, hear for the music. <laughs> That's all good by me. Weird that's not connecting. Ah, that's because it's Blakey. Good night, dude. Take it easy. Hope you sleep well. The worst, dude. Hey, Zero. How's it going? You're very much welcome here. This is, let me show you in Blender. A improvised weapon called a gutigun with a few um, artistic uh, choices of our own which has been inspired by the community here let's say community because there's quite a lot of people here for an art channel I feel um, and it's actually kind of it's kind of cool to sort of model this with you guys because you get to sort of have some input in this um, I like, I love it, it's cool. Hey Mr. Stovell, how's it going? You're very much welcome here. Context, yeah, I did. Um, all in ZBrush. I was, I've done like one thing in Blender, um, which was um, <laughs> the nail head, the nail, should I say? I just sculpted that in Blender because why not, right? What does it shoot? Whatever you want, dude. Um, see you later, Daunty. Have a good sleep. God bless, dude. As someone who has only worked in CAD doing 20 2D building design, this has been informative on the skills I need to work on for 3D. Not going to lie, still got to learn how to go from model to fully 3D and textured tons to learn. But this is better than watching a YouTube video with some hardcore dance track background music at 300% volume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. Well, I hope it's helpful, dude. Well, if you stick around whenever I'm on, I'm going to be going through the whole process of texturing, UVing, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you for your support, dude. I think the number one word that I've said today is dude. And I'm okay with that. Pretty sure it's welcome. <laughs> yeah, you might be right actually, dude. Five ninety, are you getting there? Dude is also gender neutral. Yeah, don't offend anyone. 
Right. Yeah, go on, Discord at Am I going to be invited to this, um, what is this? Choo choo hype. Hey, Mr. Foolish Pigeon. Buzzfeed doesn't agree. <laughs> Who's he? Um, no one, dude. I'm no one. Just a dude who does 3D. No one special. Just to sort of Does escape do nothing in Blender? Why are you trying to escape? I mean, Blenders don't typically have uh, escape buttons. Do you mean the stop button? I can't help myself, honestly. Rob Shaw, it really is. I feel like you've got one of those names where you have to say the full name. Like, if I were to be in front of you, I don't think I could say just Rob. I'd have to say, oh, hey, Rob Shaw. I feel like you got one of those names. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of weird. Just trying to eliminate these edges, really. <clears throat> really? Wow. You know, it'd be funny if, if, if your own family... Oh, well, we've gone over 600. There we go. Insane. Is this going to be one of the nights where I stay up for far too long? Cause I feel like I can't sleep. I'll sleep in my lunch break tomorrow. It'll be fine.
there's a lot of people who are new to the stream and I just want to thank you again. Um, and a lot of new people have just come in as well. Um, you're very much welcome. Stick around. Hang out. Don't need to sub. Don't need to follow. You can just hang out. It's all good. All good with me. BG Rift. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm in the wrong time zone, aren't I? <laughs> that being said, though, me and um, the wife are thinking of moving somewhere a little bit more exotic. AJ will destroy. Uh, what will you destroy? Um, you're very much welcome here, dude. Um, this isn't a new pumpy shotgun model. This is just a personal piece. Um, I'm fine with terrible jokes. Um, I'm used to making them. So... Bill Ford will know all about that. North Wales. Oh, you... <laughs> I live in North Wales at the moment. Yeah, a bit more exotic going South Wales. <laughs> That's actually where I had my, my honeymoon. In South Wales. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea actually, Cynical. Maybe I should have. Next time I will. Yeah, I don't want it to be misleading. I've not even saved this either. Is there anything you want me to have a look at whilst um, I'm here? Because I know I've been doing a lot of retopology. But um, I don't mind taking a break from it and looking at something else. Do somebody's portfolio. That sounds kind of strange. Um, that's true. Infamous, I can. What if I just sat here, just staring at the camera? We will still sub. <laughs> We're sick, mate. Mental. Proper mental, mate. So, like, with this detail here, it's probably not going to be seen because the hand's going to be going over it. And so, like, what's the point in having the, the indentations there? modelled in 3D, where I can just bake it down because the hand's going to be going over the grip anyway. Is there a big improvement from a, a normal 3D package like 3 ss to Topogun to just read topology? So Topogun is just... Wait, hang on. Is there a big improvement from a normal... Yeah, I think so. Um, 
I think, especially for characters, I would say. Um, because even in 3ds Max, I mean, I've used this for everything, from uh, characters to um, to prop work. Um, it works. Um, because it, the tools that I'm showing you here is just like the the basic bare minimum tools available. Uh, there's so much, so much more stuff to this uh, program. Hey, Lucidvax, you're very much welcome here. I appreciate you sticking around and saying hello. This um, program is called Topogun. I'm just doing some retopology of a um, improvised weapon. You always find find that you get bad geometry when you try to model. What stuff are you trying to model? Yep, object and edit mode. Two different things. Object mode is for like moving the entire mesh around, like exporting, um, applying modifiers um, and that obviously edit mode is the nitty gritty get, get into the mesh we, this, that was like a weird concept for me because like object mode and edit mode they don't exist in 3ds max you just have the mesh and you have like the edit poly modifiers or the edit mesh um, um, modifiers and like if you wanted to UV as well, it was a modifier that you'd stick on that like the uh but with Blender, one thing that I love is that how the UV is just available. It's not it's not a modifier. And that was sort of like hard to sort of like the concept of that was kind of hard to translate. Knife guns, any um and really anything. Thank you so much for the follow, Oni Kuroshisan. You're very much welcome here, as is everyone else. Um, I've been using Blender for maybe two months, but I'm not very good. Also, do you use hard ops? Is it good? Thank you so much for the, the follow, Lucid. Yeah, I I, um, I use um, I use hard ops a lot and box cutter. I think they're pretty much essential to my workflow, and I use them if I'm not using subdivisional modeling. And, you know, the workflow that uses um, edge loops to get sharper and softer edges. Um, I would say that's pretty much essential. There's a lot of great tools with that um, and simplifies a lot of the processes in Blender. And also it's like it's so well documented. Um, and also if you join their Discord, they answer very quickly to the questions that you have. Um, I've been using Blender for about a year. Um, it was kind of, it's kind of a strange transition from 3ds Max because I've been using it for so long, about like uh, like ten years or so. Um, how does it work with Blender? So you just export your model from either ZBrush, like I have done for for example, or from Blender as an OBJ. Import it in, draw on the mesh like this, like I'm doing here, making the low poly. And then export it out as an OBJ, then import that into Blender, and then you have your low poly mesh ready for unwrapping. Um, 
yeah, I, I recommend it, Lucid. I really would. It's very much worth it. I find it interesting that you, you bother with the detail, even the ones people won't see. I produce music, and often the things I sprinkle in the track go unnoticed, but they're my favourite elements. Do you find it similar for you? If not, what's your favourite part of the design process? Yeah, I think this this part... Um, um, like, getting those fine details in is probably, especially in the texture... That's um, that's one of my favourite parts to creating assets. Um, even though, like, it might depend on the person's PC and the settings that they have, they might, you know, get absolutely destroyed by the settings. Um, So just like maybe the phone, for example, just like the the love heart and stuff like that, and the the phone number. I mean, I, I didn't want to put like some real someone's real phone number on there, so I, I sort of googled like uh, fake phone numbers. Um, yeah, um, Patrice Kasink. Sink. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, yeah, I mean even stuff on underneath that you will never see like sometimes our model like um where the battery goes into something um just because i want it to be sort of a complete asset and i know that they're never going to see that hard surface work um only is with box cut and hard ops is amazing. Honestly, it is superb. One hundred percent recommend it. Um, am I in Rust? Yes, I work on Rust. Um, you're surprised to see someone working for a decently sized game studio using Blender. I always had it in my mind that um, a <laughs> truth, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. I hope you had a good game. Um, yeah, so, like, actually, you'd be... Patrice, su man. Uh, you'd be surprised at how many studios are using... Um, thank you for the cheer, Moshi Moshi. Um, like, you'd be surprised the studios that are using it. If you look at the Blender um donation fund thing uh you'll see like epic have donated millions to it um ubisoft announced that they were starting to use it for their studio i think i heard a while ago that naughty dog was starting to use it as well um Power to the blender, yeah. And like, just like the um, the writing, I'm pointing again. So if you can see where I'm pointing on the screen, I'm just gonna use the mouse. But um, like, just the details in the um, the writings, I try to get it, you know, that kind of accurate. Um, even though you're probably not gonna see it, um, at low res. Um, what else? What else? What else? The fire. Um, since you know about Rust, can I make custom monuments in Blender? Um, I don't know. Can you? I mean, you can try. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, Jojo. Um, it happens sometimes. So as well, like this, um, I googled like an actual label because I want it to be sort of real. Oh, you know what else I did as well, which I absolutely love doing? Patrice, man. Um, where is it? It was the, the Geiger counter that the scientists have. 
you barely even see that it's tiny on screen. Um, yeah, um, mosh mosh, it's insane, isn't it? Canadian corn dog, how's it going, dude? Um, but yeah, like, um, in Substance Painter, I tried to get it so it looked like a biro pen, um, as best as I could. Um, and have like it um, dent the paper as well. And like I'd sign it there because I looked at real reference for this and tried to get as close to it as possible. Alfredo. That's the second person that I know called Alfredo. Got a friend called Alfredo. Alfredo. He doesn't like being called Alfredo. He hates it actually. <laughs> Is that you, uh, Need? <laughs> well, you honestly, Oni, you're welcome to like just to hang out whilst I do this, because I'm I'm going to try and do it to the, to the very end. Um, I do have, um, I should probably get it on the the night bot. Hang on, let me see if I can. Um, commands, custom. Add command. Okay. There's um, my tutorial stuff there. Um, almost 5k points accumulated. It's mental, isn't it? You guys are crazy. Um, yeah, just stick around because I'm going to be going through the whole process. And that playlist there has shown stuff before all this um hopefully it's somewhat helpful um 666 actually might not actually be the number of the beast but um which is actually emperor nero because they he hated christians and he was known historically as the beast but yeah just side point there 616 yep exactly canadian thank you so much for the follow ace you're very much welcome here i know techie i know i was tracking with you it's getting insane man Are all the links in? I don't think so. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? You're stuck in extrude.
only this is a personal project. I was showcasing like or streaming some Rust stuff, but then I got told off a little bit. That doesn't mean I won't be streaming Rust stuff in the future. It just means it'll just have to be a little bit scaled back because some stuff needs to be a little bit more secret, which is understandable, right? I get it. And I like um. I was a little bit upset about it because I felt like I needed to stream throughout the day because it was helping me. Thank you so much for the follow, Ojar De Niro. Very much welcome here. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Jordan Rance. Bad man, thank you for checking this stream out, dude. I really appreciate it. That skin was looking really nice. Man, it's been a bit of a crazy night, hasn't it, guys and girls? Dudes. Dudettes. Yeah, I forgot to say dudettes. Don't want to offend anyone, do I? Meat popsicles. There you go. Guys and girls. More or less in the middle, really. And a really easy way of doing this if I turn on symmetry. Um, let's get the right one. There we go. Let me just copy it and then go to the center of it. Because then it will snap straight on to center. Turn that off. I want it dead in the center, I do. How's it going, Jordan? Thanks for just hanging out, dude. I mean, from my experience, because I use like quite high res meshes for I mean I could decimate it a little bit I guess but I've often found that blender crashes with and struggles with high res meshes so um I tend to stick with top again until it's sort of like dealt with a little bit better If you're um, wondering what this is, uh, Jordan, if you didn't see, this is um, a little... And everyone else who is new to the stream. Just doing this gut again. That was um, made um, by an IRA member, if I remember correctly. Um, which is interesting. Sorry, I mean, it's like it's quarter, quarter to two. Play it, man. I'm in trouble in the morning. I am in trouble. Twenty four hour stream. Need twenty more viewers for seven hundred. Uh, 
about you as my wife will just be like it's your own fault Tom your own fault Thank you for the uh, follow, Drakia49. Vin Diesel. I really hope that's the real Vin Diesel. I mean, it could be if he's uh, involved with Ark. <laughs> right. <laughs> Erosion hour is not my Isaac. Look at that gaping mouth. I mean... What I could do, I could be kind of lazy. Export mesh. Let's be lazy guys and gals. Dudes and dudettes. Meat popsicles, which is a reference to uh, Fifth Element. main grip name and conventions for low poly I mean I, I I struggle with that sometimes sometimes I just make stuff up like bolt thingy insert and uh, get confused when I'm trying to bake stuff out Oh, not that one. You know, what? I'm really glad that um, the stream hasn't froze, um, hasn't like shut off like it did yesterday. To um, go through like a weapons manual or an exploded view to get the the very specific name for it. So this is the um, half of it, so I'm just going to mirror it around. And I kind of like that, that's fine. Bolt thing today. <laughs> I mean, what else am I supposed to call it when I don't know what it's called? <laughs> but then when it, when it starts stacking up and you've got like bolt thing two underscore insert. Yes, can I get rid of these? Um, <laughs> it's weird because Matt took up that pretty quickly. He was quite excited to do that.
he did a really good job. I remember him showing me it was like really glossy poo. Really glossy poo. The glossiest poo I've ever seen, like the, the sheen on it was... Whew. You could just tell it was slippery. Ugh. Gamer, welcome. You are very much welcome here. Thank you for following. If you could do. do. It's not going to look like that on the other side either because that was weird. It looks nothing like that on the other side, so I get to clear that up a little bit. How many 3D artists are there on the Rust team? Um. Five, six, seven, maybe. Let me have a ganders, because I always forget. There's me. Hey, that's a one, two, three, kind of three, four, five. Six, seven, seven, seven artists. You probably did more PR work today than the Facebook Twitter account has ever done. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you all for all the followers on Twitter, by the way. I appreciate that. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. That's this part here. You know, it was really weird that it sort of it sort of hit differently to me is when Jay from the Inbetweeners started streaming Rust. That was weird, man. If it was free, I would probably have got it now. Yep. <laughs> You're not wrong. You probably would have. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, I was watching him play it today, actually. Um, it's kind of cool, actually. He's pretty chill when he plays it. Right, so I'm going to take this back into... Um... Matt Joe, thank you so much for the follow. You're more than welcome. Oh, is Jacksepticeye um, streaming it as well? That's cool. Delete that because I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to delete all this. 
Don't panic. Load mesh. And because it might not be 100% like to the mesh, I can just go in with a conform with a brush, wherever that is, and then go to conform and just keep borders. So if I go over to the border where there's no polygons, it will just the border won't be affected. That's right, perks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just want that sort of smooth experience for you guys, you know. I care about you like like that. So it's actually it's pretty pretty good how it is actually, so I don't need to worry about that. Just wanna clean this up a little bit. down to get my wife something for Valentine's. Can't believe I haven't done that yet. Uh, cynical, I'll be the one getting my wife something for Valentine's, not you. Like Marmite. You either love it or you hate them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I've got that. It's not going to bake well. Unwrap well, should I say. Just gotta sort this mess out because I moved it over from. <laughs> Guys, we're nearly at seven hundred. What is going on? For some reason, I just wanted to say I'm just a a, a lowly, a low poly streamer. <laughs> that makes no sense. I mean, 700 is nothing in comparison to some other streamers. Imagine if like Hutnik was getting like 700 people on his stream. That would be a bad day for him. Fifty two more till Discord. Yeah, <laughs> I understand that. Um, you know, I was kind of one like I was kind of scared when PBR sort of took off because I, I um, my three D art when I started to learn it was like like was doing all the texture maps in Photoshop, like all the specular and gloss maps. And so like when PBR came along and I start to see it develop um, over at Polycount and people getting all in, like all these like values and stuff like that. And like they were working it out what this particular metal should be and stuff like that. I was like, I've got to do that. Like 
manually. This is going to take forever. Like, I feel like I'm going to lose my job. Like, I was kind of... Not going to lie, I was kind of worried. Because... I'm not very technically minded. I'm not dumb, but, you know... I'm, I'd prefer just doing the art side of stuff. And then, like... That probably sounds really stupid, but whatever. I know what I mean by that. Um, and like, and then Substance came along. Well, Quixel came along first, from my experience. And like the fact that they were doing stuff like automatically like that. And when I saw it, I thought it was cheating. I thought, oh man, that's that's like cheating. That is like, what's that about? Um, but then, you know, I can't live without Substance now. Substance painter. Got to have my substances. That came out wrong. But Johnny, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Honestly, I think that's just really down to you guys sharing, sharing the stream. Um, wouldn't be the same without you guys. I might disappoint you then, Ernie. <laughs> I'm going to save this because I haven't saved it yet. If you're new to the, the channel, then welcome. I should get a button that does this for me. <laughs> no, but you are very much welcome here. You're the third streamer not. Yeah, I've got I've got um Nightbot, um uh, Tank Girl. It's just um I just haven't really set anything up because like I wake up and I'm with my daughter and like well basically I've just not really had much time to do so. I'm not saying my daughter is the reason, but you know what I mean. Number three. Guys, 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 guys. Insane. The automated messages over time would be kind of cool to set up. I'm the top. Hey, um, Evo, how's it going? Glad that you're here. You're very much welcome. Oh shoot, I am actually. <laughs> Sick. Gonna have to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Print it out, stick it on my wall. <laughs> Isn't it a bit scary streaming knowing that if you say something wrong you you're gonna be cancelled on Twitter? And get fired. Uh, take it back. <laughs> um, well, one good thing about streaming is that I can just ignore the chat, I guess. And I could probably set it to followers only or subscribers only, whatever. Um, I guess that's a plus, right? You can get one of their mods authorized and they can do it for you if you trust them. Who do I trust? Who do I trust? 
Hey Nino. Yeah, Nino's pretty much on it, like all the time. Guys, gone over seven hundred. How sick is that, man? You're a girl at heart, but I'm a man. There you go, Nino. You've been pretty awesome, dude. Or do that. Don't know. So, like, yeah, you've been pretty much on it throughout this. Um, no boobies and have made it to 700. That sounds a bit mean. I could probably trust Jacob as well. I mean, he he works at Face Punch. Well, I don't well, I don't know how what it is. The situation is. <clears throat> he does stuff for Face Punch. I don't know the relationship there. Tell me to shut up, Jacob. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, I feel like the art section in Twitch is pretty messed up, right? <laughs> VIP. The only way I could sort of mess this up now if I stand up and I just don't have any trousers in or anything like that. I don't know. Show some sort of nudity. Oh, don't worry, Jacob. Honestly, I was, you know, it's good that you, um, you're here anyway. It all started as a naked. Do I? Well, <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say. This is one thing I love about um, Topo Gun. Oh, the edge extrusion. We'll never know. Take care. Take of your skin. <sighs> Sorry for the cough. I promise it's not the Rona. Promise you can't catch it through uh, streams. <laughs> My wife would probably uh, beg to differ, Jacob. She likes to wrap the presents.
This tune has a bit of like a Caribbean vibe to it, man. Kinda, kinda like it. Oops. Oh man, when when this whole thing started, right? Going out into the shops and like I kid you not, right? When everyone's panic buying and there's loads of people rushing by and you're trying to hold a sneeze in I like you sort of like freaking out. It's it's like or a cough as well. You know what I mean like That was the worst. But now they're like, I sort of, when I'm wearing my mask, I'll, uh, I don't mind coughing just to see how people react. The dirty looks you get as well. If you don't have the mask on just before you get to the shop. <clears throat> I just get Hello Fresh now and Woolworths delivered. Woolworths. Man, I've not heard Woolworths in a long time. Woolworths, I didn't know they were still going. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Rock Bavaria. You're very much welcome here. <sighs> oh, is it? So I was thinking like in England. I thought it was an English thing. Cause they used to do these like these tiny little cans of Coke or Sprite. I used to love those as a kid. I wanted to still do those. I swear I'm not Australian. <laughs> Don't worry, Tank Girl, I'm not going to track you down. But one of these creepy boys might. Don't know why I'm saying that. Ignore that. Am I half Greek? <laughs> no. Um, welcome to the stream, um, Otama Pakulu. I'm American, apparently Woolworths was there a long time ago. Um, wait, I got confused with... I thought Tank Girl said that you're not Australian. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I've been, I've been confused with Greek, Turkish, Jewish, obviously, uh, because that's like usually the main one, um, especially here in England. Um, that's like the go-to insult. Um, but I'm I'm actually half Scottish, half Mancunian. Yeah, so like, I I don't even know why it's an insult here, like. Kids, like, I used to get bullied in secondary school. And, um... A lot. And... This is... This is... This is probably make you laugh, but it's uh, it's kind of traumatic for me. But, um... I remember one lunchtime... Um... For some reason, um... People used to just shout... Uh... Jew boy. Like, all the people who I thought were my friends... 
were just chanting, Jew boy, Jew boy, Jew boy. Kids are mean, man. Kids are mean. I actually got suspended for school from school once. Like, legit, not even a lie. Um, I threw a grape. It hit the floor. And one of the science teacher uh, assistants rolled over it with a, a trolley. And I got suspended for a day for that. Whereas my friend Rick, he, he threw a sandwich in the face of a math teacher. And got away with it. A sandwich in the face of a teacher. And I threw a grape and it hit the floor. A grape. I'm a bad boy. Death by grape. New rust weapon. 2022. I had an English teacher. Ba oh, I thought you said bend. I thought you. I thought you were saying that you had an English teacher that bent a kid's head off. <laughs> Bang. We had some quite scary kids in school, man. I can remember a kid beating a teacher up. Smashed the head off her door handle. That's pretty messed up. I wonder where he is now. I hope he's in a bit of better place. I seem pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up. Mushy mushy. Thank you for the follow, Potato and Rasslin. I uh, really appreciate all the support you guys are and girls giving me. Honestly, it's just so amazing. I've been streaming for five hours this evening. I wasn't. I was only supposed to be streaming like like two hours most. Um, like I just appreciate everything that you're doing. Honestly, um, it's just. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you for the cheer, Moshi Moshi. I appreciate that. And, and for those who are just like looking in the background, because it's obviously you know, there's however many people chatting in the in the chat, and there's a lot of people like just lurking in the background. Like, I appreciate you just as much as those who are chatting. Like, yeah, just you just guys being here and just yeah, it's great. I appreciate you all.
Even you, Teki. We all waste the space. Me especially. this here because it's uh... of course I appreciate you techie I just can't believe I've gone from like 20, was it 20 odd subs, I think it was, to, I think it was that, to over 100. That's mental. Absolutely crazy. 107 to be exact. <laughs> crazy. The average viewership is going up slowly. Oh, check this. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It, the average viewer is 29.39. It's getting there. It's getting there, chat. Thank you, PvP. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, ne uh, Ness. You're like, wherever you've come from, wherever you've heard of this stream, like, I really appreciate it. Just, you know, staying around. So I'm just going to do this part and then, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Um, get this off. Because we've done most of this gun. Unfortunately, something like this can take this long to do. Um, I know I've been pretty distracted with the craziness of today. But, like, sometimes just this kind of thing needs a lot of attention to. Um, and like, it, it can get to a point where it's like, you know, like you're doing a lot of ZBrush or you're doing a lot of modeling in Blender and you're like, oh, I really want to get to the next stage. I'm sort of sick of this part now. And you get onto the next stage and it's like, oh yes, a fresher breath air. And after a couple of hours of it, you just sort of like realize that you got so much more read topology to do. You got, I mean, I've been spending like how many hours on this? And then I've got, this is just one part. It's admittedly, it's the biggest part, but yeah, I'm kind of looking forward just to getting to the unwrapping and then the baking process and then the texturing for sure.
baking before texturing. Yeah. What? What do you mean? You trying to pull some crazy thing on us, Techie? What? That's mental. Dude, I think your textures would um, look way, way better if you did it the other way around. Do the low poly, uh, bake AO. I mean, what are you texturing? Are you textured in Substance Painter? Thank you for the follow, Jackie, Jackie, Jeeky, Jeeky. Because then you can feed those textures that you've baked out, those AO, that AO cavity, curvature, um, and you can use that to uh, to really get some nice um, effects from the generators, like really nice dirt passes, some AO dirt. AO! I'm really surprised I haven't woken up my my children or my wife. I'll know about it tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> yeah, probably did you. <laughs> I just hope my kids don't wake up really early. Okay, I'm just going to do this, okay, because I do need to go to bed. As soon as you hear that, people will be dropping from the stream. Guarantee it. What am I doing that for? It it's wearing uh, mushy mushy. I long for the days where retopology is no longer needed. And it's getting there. Kezawa, thank you so much for following. Um, you're awesome. Thank you for being here, for sticking around. I I assume there's some people here who don't understand a single thing that I'm saying. Donde esta mi pantalones? That's the only Spanish that I know, and that I think means where are my pants? Or where are my trousers?
I think. If you're Turkish, T-Sugarity Dream, I think that is Turkish, if I've pronounced it right, is thank you. Well, thank you very much. I remember when I was in Japan, um, I got into the habit of repeating what the coffee shop um, employees used to say. You take a mask, or something like that. And um, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Obrigado. Obrigada. If you do that, yeah. Are you Brazilian, Nino? Yeah, I used to, um, I travelled to Japan to do some travel photography um, with my friend Joey. I mean, it was awesome, really, really cool. Tons of Brazilians moving to Canada. Now we're at the 700 mark again. Insane. Absolutely insane. Hey, yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed. Um, man, this has been absolutely insane. I feel like I'm being trolled a little bit, maybe. Um, it is half two in the morning here. 50 more to Discord. I mean... It's how much trouble do I be in? Do I want to be in with my wife? That's the the question. <laughs> Persistence is key. I've just had an awesome time tonight. Really awesome. I was umming on and even coming on tonight. Um, and I'm so thankful that I did. Um, Perks, thanks for all the, the hard work you're doing as well. Especially with those icons and um, um, with the Discord. I really appreciate that. 
and you know thank you for being for being for being you you're just on it all the time like i, I feel like i'm so, like it's a long time streamer do it saying this but um yeah thanks to everybody else for tuning in um um I might be on tomorrow just depends um like i said if you um if you I, i'll probably let let you know through twitter hang on Sorry, everyone, just hang on. Yeah, I don't know when I'll be on next. Probably not for a very long time now. Um, sorry about that, guys. Fun whilst it has lasted. Um, yeah, see you guys. Love you all. Thanks for the support. God bless, guys. Bye. Well, I don't, I'm saying that just because... Never mind.